Hi, welcome to Education Leaves. In this video, I am going to discuss the elements of cost. Let's start the video. The elements of cost are those elements that constitute the cost of the manufacture of a product. The cost of an industrial enterprise may be divided into three principal elements, material cost, labor cost, and expense. Let's understand each of elements in details. 1. Material cost. It is the cost of commodities supplied to an undertaking. Material cost are two types. Direct material cost, and indirect material cost. Direct material represents the raw material necessary to produce or manufacture a product. The cost of direct material varies according to the level of output. For example, milk is the direct material of butter. The amount of money spent on direct materials is known as direct material cost. An indirect material is one which is necessary for the production process, but it's not directly used in the product itself. Which means it does not become an integral part of the product. Examples cotton waste, sandpaper, oil, greases, etc. The cost associated with indirect materials is called indirect material cost. The same material may be direct material for one producer, and an indirect material for another. In certain cases, some direct materials are used so little that it is not worthwhile to charge them as direct materials. Nails, glue, paints are few examples. In such conditions, these materials are charged as indirect materials, or overheads. Number 2. Labor Cost Labor cost is the cost of salary, wages, bonus, commission of the employees of a company. Labor cost is also divided into two portions, direct labor cost, and indirect labor cost. Direct labor cost is the cost of labor directly engaged in production operations. For example, workmen engaged in assembling parts, carpenters engaged in furniture making, etc. Indirect labor cost is the remuneration paid for labor engaged to help the production operations. Examples, inspectors, watchmen, sweepers, storekeepers, etc. The remuneration paid to these persons cannot be traced to a job process or production order. The labor costs of idle time, overtime, holidays, etc. are also taken as indirect costs. Similarly, clerical and managerial staff, salesmen, distribution employees are also included in the orbit of indirect labor. Number 3. Expenses. Expense is the cost of service provided to an undertaking, and the theoretical cost of the use of owned assets. In easy word, it is the expenditure, other than labor and material is called expenses. Expense are two types. Direct expenses, and indirect expenses. Direct expenses are the expenses that can be directly identified with a unit of output, job process or operation. They are specifically incurred for a job, or unit process, and in no way they are connected with other jobs or processes. For example, the cost of special patterns, designs or plans for a particular job or work order. Indirect expenses are expenses other than indirect material and indirect labor, which cannot be directly identified with units of output, job, process or operation. These expenses are incurred commonly for jobs and processes. For example, rent, power, lighting, depreciation, bank charges, advertising, etc. If you want to read in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. You can support my work by subscribing to my channel. Like the video, and thanks for watching.